Welcome back. Today I'm going to be installing one of these mouse blockers. I don't know what it is about my Land Rover Discoveries, but the mice seem to love them. I've had problems with mice in the Land Rover Discoveries that I've owned, and this one, which is my daily driver when the weather is bad, has just gotten another mouse problem. So to keep the mice out, I'm going to install one of these. I have a 120 volt version of this in my motorhome. And I also have a big version of this back in my garage area where I keep all the cars. And it has seemed to work to keep the mice away. It's even kept a lot of the birds from coming in the garage doors. Let's take a look at this and get it installed. The model that I'll be installing today is the Mouse Blocker Pro 12 volt. It says here to be used for automobiles, campers and RVs, farm equipment and hot tubs. It's a pretty simple installation. Just has a red and black wire for positive and negative, and that's it. The battery for the Land Rover Discovery is underneath this battery cover. There's plenty of room for this device to sit here next to the battery, or even here in the jack box. That's where I think I'm going to put this. This vehicle has a nice grounding bar right here where I can pull my ground off of. And if we open up the fuse box, we have a nice connection for our positive here as well. Both of my wires are connected. Now that the mouse blocker is plugged in, it's flashing these lights. And on the back, we have a light and a mode button. I don't know if you can hear it on the camera, but it's also making noise. Right now with it plugged in, it's in its default settings, which is going to put out sound at 80 decibels. If I push the mode button again, it switches and it's a little bit louder. It's at 90 decibels now. If I hit the mode button again, you can probably hear it on the camera now. This is 115 decibels, but I think I'm going to leave it at the default setting. Hit the mode button a fourth time, it turns off. And now I'm back at the default setting. The neat thing about this is it can automatically detect when your engine is running by detecting that you have voltage over 12 volts, indicating that your alternator is working. And you don't have to worry about leaving this connected because if your battery drops below 11 volts, this will automatically turn off so that it's not draining your battery completely, making it so that you can't start your vehicle. So now that it's set up and running, it's just a matter of sticking it down where I want it to stay, and either zip tying it with the included zip ties or possibly even some double-sided tape. Let's start the engine and see if it turns off like it's supposed to. Engine is running now. I don't see any lights on the front or back. So it must have turned off like I said it would. With the engine off, it automatically turned back on. That's gonna be it for today. I'll have to check back later and let you know if this mouse blocker is doing any good to keep the mice out of my discoveries. As I said, I have one of these installed in my motorhome, and I also have one of these back in my garage where the cars are sitting. I think they're working, but it's hard to tell. If I don't have any more mouse problems in this vehicle, then I know it actually does work. If you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.